this is Sam from Unreal Manus and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a main menu inside Unreal. Now I'm probably going to split this up into three tutorials, reason being is it's going to be quite long if I merge all of them together. Um, the three tutorials would be the main menu tutorial which will be just the main menu when you, when you load up the game it will show. Um, and then the second tutorial will be the options menu. So from the main menu you can select options and you can modify the options that way. And the third one will be the in-game menu which will be basically when you press escape and you when you press escape and you um, access the main the menu then. From that menu obviously uh, you can have a choice of options or you can go to um, or you can go to main menu or you can quit. So I'm using an example or a project that I'm currently working on. I'm not going to be 100% done yet, and I'm still working on it. So um, to start this off, what we need to do is we need to create a a widget. So if we go to add new, go to user interface, create widget blueprint. And we want to call this like main menu one. Obviously, know what it is. Or what function is going to be? So if we open that up now, you you come up to like a canvas page. Um, if this canvas page is uh, twelve eighty by seven twenty, and you want it nineteen twenty by ten eighty, what you got to do is go to screen size, drag down to the bottom, and select ten eighty p. So with this now is we got a nice little canvas point here, and this is where your um, all your options are going to be located inside. If we just click zoom to fit in the top right here, it will fit it to the screen, which is quite nice and quite reasonable. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Um, you can have a background as an image, or you can have a 3D background. Now, the difference is with the background image, all you got to do is layer the image over the uh, the canvas box. Um, for the 3D background, all you got to do is just add in your buttons without the image in the background and then create your level and then add a camera and what that will do is the camera will pick up your viewport and it will just display everything in the background apart from the buttons so it's, so it's basically displaying a level with a um, overlay so what we're going to do is this one we're going to use image so if we just drag out an image and we drag it and we make sure it's to fit the same size um, with this now is I what I'm going to do I'm just going to go find an image or I found an image and with this image I am just going to just show you I'm going to use this image of a nice like black blue earth as a background now I don't own the rights to this image and I'm not going to use this in my actual project I'm only going to show you um, I'm only going to show you how to do it so it's for educational purposes of course now what we want to do is we want to add it so after you after you um after you download the image just literally drag and drop right into the content browser and you want to right click that and you want to create a material now you're going to want to open this material because we're going to need to modify this later actually we're going to modify it now but if we go back to main menu, which is the main menu thing we're making, and in this, in the right box here, you see appearance and you see images. And if you type in and type in the name of the material, make sure it's the material and not the texture. So we have the material down, and a red box will appear underneath it. And what it is to just says is not the correct, is not the correct domain. And to change that, what you got to do is click that. And then go back to your material which you have opened. Okay, you can close it down and reopen it, and you come up with this nice, nice little point. You can actually control save that if you want. Well, highlight it, then press Control C because we're going to be using that in the um, in the future textures for the main menu. So now that is set up, we want to save it. And if we go to main menu, you can see that it's nicely displayed. Okay, our next point is to create a vertical box. Let me just find it. And what this will do is this will hold everything. This will hold all of the buttons. 
Um, you can do it just buttons, but it's much neater to do it this way. So with the buttons, if you go to common, just drag up, uh, make this full screen, I will, and then drag off button into it. And we want to have three buttons. And you want to hold control and select all three of these buttons because what we are going to do is we're going to modify these well. So if we just go to, we want to change all of these to the image size of 100. So we want to change all of these to 100. And then what we want to do is we want to, is that the correct pattern? No. Oh, here it is. Then what we want to do is we want to add a padding in the layout um, section of the box. And we want to type in, uh, I recommend 50. Reason being, I know that's going to be quite big, but it's not going to be anything that we need to worry too much about. You can obviously modify the, um, the sizes in the image sizes here. Okay, um, the next step you would want to do is you want to you want to get your images. Um, I create these in Photoshop and what I did was if I open up one now, not like that. If I open one now in show open up in paint okay you can't see this in paint but the background is um, the background is uh, transparent so I what I did I uploaded it in the Photoshop made the background transparent as a nice little holes because of the, the background screen is a mixture of blue colors and I just done a, a bright blue for the options and then if I open up this you can see I've done a darker blue and the reason I've done that is so the lighter blue is going to be used as the standard option and then the darker blue is going to happen when the mouse is hovered over it and what that will do is that will just give a nice little um, scenery to your to your um, to your images put that way so what you want to do is you want to shift click so one click one side hold shift click the other side and you want to just drag, actually, just drag that down here. We just want to drag that down into the content browser. Which sometimes does not work, or does not want to work. There we go. So after we've done that, we want to make sure they're all still highlighted and we want to create a material for all of them. So all of these will have a material now. Um, with this now, if we work off on the top one, so the top one we're going to make it as a start, a start, um, start game function. So if we just go to images and we want to search and we want to type in what I call the image, which is start. So I want to type a start underscore mat. And it will come up saying this material does not use. Uh, click OK for that. Don't worry about it too much for the moment. Um, for the hovered, we want to type in start. And I call this version hovered um, because it would tell me that yeah, this is the image for the hovered function. Um, we then want to select the mat. So it's always the mat we want to select. And make sure you click change material domain on them. So now that is set up, we want to do press. We want to make this the original image. Reason being is it would just flicker through to show that it's been pressed. So we do start underscore mat. And then that will display that. Now what we're going to do now is we just go into open up start mat and start hovered. And we're just going to connect these two up and save. So close that down, connect that up, 
and we want to save that. And then if we close it down here, you can see it's appeared right here now. Actually, that does seem to be a quite a bit small. So what I'll do is I'll make it a little bit bigger. So if I do 200 by 200, that'll make it a bit bigger. Hundred by two hundred. Yeah, we'll get that much better. Two hundred by two hundred, and then two hundred by two hundred. So we want to make sure that um, normal is the same image dimensions as hovered, as well as pressed. So we just want to make sure they're all the same dimensions. It prevents the image from um, obscuring when uh, when we use it. So we're going to move on to the middle bit now, which will be the options. Um, for this, I have called mine option and option map. We want to select, click change material domain. And then underneath here, we want to type in option hovered map click change material domain and we're going to type in options option for this so what you can do is if you're creating this alongside my video is you can call all of your images by what I've called mine so you understand it even better so then you can exactly follow from what I call my images to what you call your images so with this now want to is that all of them done yes that is so now what we want to do is we want to find option and option hovered want to select the mat open up the mat want to drag that over click save and then click close and then we want to drag this over click save and click closed now that is all set up for options and if we go down to the final image, we need to make this a little bit bigger. And this is going to be our quit function to quit the game. So what we want for the image for that is I named it quit. And quit material here. And then hovered, quit, hovered. No, not the texture. Change material and just type in quit quit mat make sure it is the material and not the texture otherwise it may come out all weird and um, weird and glitchy so now that is done all we need to do is open quit mat and quit hovered mat and the same thing we done for the rest is just connect them up so save connect them up and save so now do I save that? I didn't quit hover I did save that didn't I? I'm just going to leave that as a glitch possibly in the editor. We'll try that out now actually. Um, to get this display in, I don't want it to display on my actual level. So I want to create a new level. And I want to just do an empty level. Because we said 2D background, I don't need um, anything in the actual space. So we can just do it this way. So if I type in camera in the top left and drag a camera, you don't need a positionist or anything. Um, you then want to do is go to level blueprint and with the level blueprint you want to event begin play and you want to and you want to type in create widget 
And with this, you just click on class and select your widget, which is our, ours is main menu. And then we drag it off and we want to type in add to viewport. And that will add the widget to our viewport. So with this now, we can test this. If we just go to play, I would recommend doing this, um, playing it as a standalone game. Reason being is that you get to view it full screen. So you get to see your whole options of what looks like full on your screen. Um, it'll open up like this and then you just hold down alt and then enter. I know, I know what's up with that. I know what's up with that. And then obviously you've got start, you've got options, you've got quit. Nothing does, nothing works with this for the time being, obviously because we have not told it to do anything. So what we can do is if we just end that, go back. Let me just make a small modification. I know what I've done. I didn't change these to 200 for some reason. I don't know why. It just refused or something, but always check um, if, as you say, if, you, if, you, if your images show up like mine did, just check the image size and make sure it's all correct. So now that is all correct and that should all be working good. So now that is sorted, what we want to do is we want to tell it to do stuff. So I selected my start game and I dragged it down here and I typed and I want to click on in the events group, in the events part we want to click on on clicked and we want to just drag it off and type in open level. Now you want to type in your the actual level name of the level. So it could be a first level, it could be a last level, or it could be any level. So I know that I'm working from the top down example pack for my project. So if I type in top down example map, then I know that's going to work. So what we want to do then is go back to designer. We don't want to worry about options because I'll do options in another tutorial. And uh, the reason I'm doing it separate is because there's a lot of um, words, should I say. And in that tutorial, I can shorten them down and just explain every part to you easily. We're going to do the quit function now. So if we just drag down and we do type in, and we just go to events and click on clicked. And then with this, we want to drag off, and we honestly just want to type in quit game. So that's it, quit game. So if I try this now, uh, yes, I want to save. Let it load. Alt and enter to make it full screen. And you can see now that all works fine. So I just want to test out the quit function. So I'm just going to quit that. Okay, that works fine. Okay, and then we want to play again. And I want to do start. And there we go. It starts up my level. Now, I haven't... Um, done the tutorial yet on how to do the in-game how to do the in-game um, menu but I'll do that I'll do that on another tutorial as well um, to exit out of these the best way to do it is honestly it's alt f4 especially when it's full screen so now that is all sorted um, I believe this is the end of this main menu tutorial um, if you have any questions or anything that you would like um, for me to explain a bit more, just uh, leave them into the this into the comments below. Um, and yeah, so I see you in the next tutorial.